What's going on guys? Young Ramsey in the motherfucking building and today we are here to talk about some more Splatoon news. Now I know a lot of you are excited, including myself, about the August update which is apparently going to be able to add team matchmaking and a lot of other features as well too. But just the ability to be able to play with your friends finally is going to make things like ranked play a little bit more bearable for me because I don't know about you dudes but I haven't touched ranked play yet because I tried in a, uh, like a little while ago when it did come out I tried and you know I would go up a rank and then I would lose it due to the teammates that I have and just because you don't have that fidelity of being able to know exactly who you're going to be teamed with all the time it made things a little bit inconvenient but apparently there's a lot more than just team matchmaking that's coming through with the new Splatoon update which is apparently going to be happening on August 5th so let's take a look at exactly what the hell is going on here and what's going to be expected for this update so we're here at MyNintendoNews.com these guys as always a great news source big shout outs to them um, I really appreciate the work and research that you guys do Let's take a look at exactly what the article is entailing. So here's all the details for major new Splatoon update coming August 6th. So I said the fifth. Um, I said the fifth before. Excuse me for that. So on August 6th, a free software update for Splatoon on Wii U brings a large amount of content to the game, including two new matchmaking modes, new weapon types, and increase to the player's level cap. Really now? I did. I didn't even know that. And more than 40 pieces of new gear. God damn. So all of this is going to be included in this update at one time. That is basically going to transform this game into something else totally. I'm excited about it. To be honest with you guys, I haven't touched Splatoon in like maybe two to three weeks, but I'm definitely getting my grubby Ramsey hands back on that game after this update comes out. There's a lot to look forward to apparently, so um, let's look up some more of the details. Uh, Players will now be able to create a winning strategy and fight to be the best and most battle-tested squid squad around. It makes you wonder, did Nintendo intentionally hold off on all these new features, these new weapons, new gear types and whatnot for a reason? Maybe they were doing this shit on purpose to try to achieve something, maybe to show that Splatoon is still extremely fun without all the super high intensity strategies that people will be incorporating and without teamwork to the extent of being able to know what's going on at all times. Maybe they wanted to show that Splatoon in its most raw form is an extremely entertaining game. Who knows? The new update introduces squad battle and private battle matchmaking options. In squad battle, players can participate in ranked battle rule sets with friends rather than being teamed up with other players through random selection. After a player creates a squad, friends can be recruited to form a team of two or four inklings. Two to four inklings. Friends will always play together on the same team and battle against other squads as at random. So are you only going to be paired against other squads or will you be paired against any random assortment of people no matter what? Probably the latter. In private battle, friends can splat it up in privates. Customizable matches. Two to eight friends can battle together by selecting their favorite map, mode, and weapons. So this is a feature that people have been wanting ever since the game came out. The number of participants ranges from 1v1 to 4v4, but teams don't have to be even. If the host chooses, he, can, he or she can select a 1v4, a 1v2, or any other combination of players. Very nice to know. With this robust new update comes an increased level cap in both regular battle and ranked battle modes. After downloading the software update, players will be able to reach level 50, raised from level 20. God damn, this is gonna be crazy! I'm getting my hands back on it, definitely. And rank S and S plus in ranked battle, both higher than A plus. So there's gonna be, like, there's way more reason now to get your hands back on the game. You're gonna see a lot of old faces that are gonna be showing back up online. Are you niggas gonna be playing the game after this massive update comes out with the information that we've already read in the article so far? You gotta let me know. While Inklings around the world are enjoying and mastering the current arsenal of weapons in Splatoon, two new weapon types will be available with the update, adding a new layer of strategy to the game. The bucket-like slosher weapons hurl ink straight ahead at an impressive range. By adjusting the angle, these new weapons can be used to splat opponents who are high or even on the other side of the wall. With the Gatling-style splatting, players can charge all powerful ink. Really now? A maximum charge unleashes the full potential of this particular weapon type. In addition to the new weapons, more than 40 pieces of gear, including everything from a leather jacket to Sushi Chef costume, are coming to the various in-game shops in Splatoon. This is amazing! If Splatoon gets regular updates that are this massive, and they're able to implement so many new articles of gear, weapons, um, stages, a bunch of other stuff, then we can expect this game to have some longevity, dudes. I mean, Nintendo themselves is saying that Splatoon is made for eSports. You know they have that little ad running around during um, EVO. I like, I, you know what, I, I'd like to believe it now, considering how much stuff they're adding into this. This is a massive update, holy shit. 
this is really fucking massive. Like, 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 they're implementing so many factors. Like, everything's basically getting a raise up. Level 20 to 50 now? That's gonna be such a goddamn grind. Anyone that's able to hit that in a few days needs to get their head checked. Despite its size and scope, this massive August update is not the- And it's free! It's free! This massive August update is not the end of the splatacular free content coming to Splatoon. Following this update, more content will be continually rolling out through the rest of the summer into autumn, including the Rainmaker ranked battle mode, we saw a little bit of this before, additional maps, and new weapons. More details on these additions will be revealed in the future. Splatoon is, is working right now! With the friend multiplayer features and being able to make a squad, things are going to be on a totally different level with this game. It's going to add a whole new layer to it. Like, I'll be able to play with my squad now without waiting to see who can get in through the randomizer and um, if people leave the match. There's no more bullshit, man. Splatoon is going to be the GOAT of this year. Goddamn. Now, with this update, I can say safely, Splatoon is a title worth getting a Wii U for. Yeah, I think it it kind of was before, not too much, but now you need a Wii U to split to play Splatoon. Like you, you in order to play Splatoon, you gotta get a Wii U. It's now a game that's worth getting the console for. It is. I'll, I'll I'll admit it, man. I mean, Splatoon is looking like it's gonna be the goat right now, man. I'm getting back online. We're gonna be streaming that shit. We're gonna be going in, dudes. It's gonna be so much fun, and I can't wait to play it with you, dudes. I can't wait to play it with my squad. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.